everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. It's nice to see you. Yes, it is. Okay. So I've been exploring the area a little bit because I was trying to find out where the bloody red control keycard is. And it's actually not very hard to find. It's in a quite secluded area though. So just go check this wardrobe and you'll find it there. And now we are going to go to the uh, power plant and try and god damn it move. Oh, wrong person. Alright, now I'm gonna try to uh, see what's wrong with it. But I'm not exactly sure if I'm meant to do that because I've already helped out Festus. I've, I've already given him the high mag, so I'm not exactly sure if I need to do anything over there. But, yeah. Um, let's just quickly check. Maybe there is something. Good god, can you bloody move, you piece of shit. Let's talk to him. Get that data. Don't just stand there. The reactor's not gonna keep working forever. Get the optimization data like you said you would. Oh, freaking hell. Move. Oh, I really dislike Vic. He's bloody in my way all the time. There we go. Oh man. So. Anyways, let's just go on. I'm not exactly sure because I don't remember me actually having to do anything with this reactor. Um, if I actually talk to Festus and convince him to fix the reactor himself. But who knows, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But yeah, let's use the computer. And also, I'm always uh, just quickly going to show you how to uh, get the freaking hell, the dialogue from the Enclave on this computer. That was something about last episode. So, initialize, function, robot, action. Okay, some kind of network. Now the sequence is the third one, then the first one, and the second one. List of the stations, more lights are on, but nobody's home. Here Enclave here. Why isn't your video feed working? Who the hell is this? Oh, you a wise guy, huh? Look, I'm tracing you right now, pal. We'll see how smart you feel with internal security all over your freaking ass, dickhead. A few more moments and I'll have your sorry ass in a sling. Hey, wait a minute. This can't be right. I've got you somewhere on the mainland. I've got you at Poseidon Oil, reactor number five. Ah, well, why don't you just sit tight and I'll order up a little celebration for you, including fireworks. <laughs> well, whoever you are, I just dispatched a Verde assault team to your location. Have a nice day. Usually they just go in shooting. They let someone else sift through the ashes to figure out what was going on. Yeah, goodbye. Next news on you will be when I read the after action report. Yeah, I actually kind of shortened that down. There was a bit more dialogue. But I think I can't really access... No, I can't. I can't access the dialogue uh, or the Enclave anymore. But yeah, I think I accidentally shortened it down by choosing the wrong dialogue options. There wasn't much more dialogue, but yeah, there's really nothing you can say to him that will not cause a fight. So all you can really do is just let him send a dispatch team over to you. Well, I think he can actually not use the conversation and just quickly shut it down. And I'm not sure whether that affects any of the outcomes, but we'll see in a second. Because right here, we're meant to uh, meet up with some enclave, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, but who knows. Can't see any enclave. Can see a car. My car. Freaking awesome car. Hi, women. Alright. Wait, did I just... Never mind. Screw it. 
Boat City. In a city. I'm going here straight away because I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this right. Maybe I need to optimize the bloody... Uh, what do you call it? Reactor, nuclear power plant. I don't even know what, what it's called. The proper name for it. I mean, the actual quest. Freaking hell, I'm not... Good lord, I'm terrible at this today. Uh, let's see. Gecko... Optimize the power plant, freaking balls. I don't think I'm doing this right. Shit, I, I am not doing this right. I just remembered how to do it, I think. Oh my god. Talk to McClure. This is not gonna work, is it? Oh wait, no. I repaired Gecko's power plant. Excellent. Uh, let's see, here's your citizenship papers. Okay, goody. Now. I've found a way to optimize the Gecko reactor. I have a reactor data disk going to the uh, technician out at the power plant. The Volt City computer can optimize the reactor disk and make the plan run more smoothly. The Volt computer? Oh, goody. Finally, I just. I was thinking about actually using the disk on the, uh, the computer it's itself the actual power plant but I guess you have to use the disk on the computer inside the actual Boulder Bolt City. So right now I'm just going to quickly go back here and turn in Wallace. I think that's his name I'm not exactly sure but I'm just gonna finish up all the remaining quests around here but freaking hell never mind oh shit I don't want to have a weapon out I'll get my ass whooped by freaking Vault City guards. So let's leave. Open door. And now let's go in here. Talk to Skeev. Never mind. I thought his name was Wallace, but who cares? What is this space? Caravans. Can I ask you another question? What is this space? Oh god. Got a shipment to receive, then Broken Hill. Other questions, nothing more today. Okay, this didn't exactly work work out as I planned. But I guess I'm just gonna have to go to Lynette and talk to her about uh Skeeve. I'm gonna finish up that quest. It's not really a quest, I'm just getting doing it for more XP. Which I love because XP is good and it's good. Drugs are bae. So don't do drugs. Shouldn't do drugs because drugs are bae. If you don't know where that's from, that's from South Park. I suggest you watch it. It's a very good show. You learn a lot of things from it. So let's save. I'm only saving because I'm worried that. Uh, I might start a fight with Lynette. Yes. That's what is it thing. I can help you with? Let's see. Of course. Some questions. What can I help you with, citizen? Oh, Thomas Moore. Moore? He's a troublemaker. That's what he is. He constantly seeks to convince the citizens to turn Vault City into a democracy, as he calls it. With everyone having a say in laws and decision making. I call it mob rule. The archives state that many old world nations had such a government. We know where that got them. Can you imagine how long it would take to get anything done in such a society? It's inconceivable. A government needs a strong, capable leader who can make decisions quickly and has the power to enforce them. Government by committee is no kind of government at all. Mostly by ranting in public and making a fool of himself. He plays on our sympathies with tales of a plague in the NCR, as if we could take care of the whole world. Kill him? Murder is not in any way, shape, or form permitted in Vault City. Even if for the best. Never speak of this again. Yes? What is it I can... Of course. More. I'm just gonna keep He's asking her. Maybe there's That's something I is. could do. Although it would serve Vault City's interests, I can't. As long as he breaks no laws, Moore is permitted to say anything he wants. 
Yes? Hmm. What is it I can help you? Of course. More? He's a troublemaker. That's what he is. Yeah, it doesn't really look like anything here can help me out unless someone start a fight with her. You too? A citizen is free to his own beliefs, but this, this! Perhaps you are incapable of handling the responsibility of citizenship. Hmm. No, he is not a true citizen. Not anymore. When he came to us two years ago, he seemed everything we would want in a citizen. But just a year later, he... changed. He turned against us. We have prospered in this world where so many others have failed, and you tell me we need to change? Look at the outside world. Anarchy, depravity, sickness. Vault City is a paradise. 